Hi, this is Alex from Vicaro Lifestyle, and today I'm going to teach you on how to put together your hoverboard. We're going to start by placing the first wheel. So on the wheel's axle, you'll notice that one side is rounded and one side is flat. The flat part is going to be facing up and the rounded part down into the frame. After placing the wheel in, locate your wheel mount, which is a small piece of metal with a notch in it that the flat part of the axle will fit into. And you're going to take the four Allen bolts and just bolt it down hand tight. After tightening it down by hand, you're going to check the clearance of the wheel. You're going to want to make sure that it's not too in and not too far out. You don't want it touching the frame or touching the body. So give it a few spins just to make sure that it's clear before tightening it down completely. bolted down you're going to get the rubber pads that make contact with the gyroscope board uh, each pad takes three screws and just you'll screw it directly into the frame now after mounting the pads you're going to take the frame for the gyroscope board now with the gyroscope board you're going to want to make sure that you have it lined up correctly you don't want it leaning to one side or the other. You want it just perfectly still. Just to make sure that the gyroscope board is going to be perfectly aligned. Now you're going to take the gyroscope board. Take note of the sensors that are on there. They make contact with those rubber pads that we installed earlier. The control the forward and backward motion of the board. You're going to want to make sure that the pads themselves aren't actually touching the sensors as they shouldn't move to touch the sensors until there's pressure from your feet. Next we're going to install the main motherboard. So you'll notice the wires are pretty long on one side. Those are going to be going through the center tube to the other side of the board to make connections with that wheel and gyroscope board. Now that you've routed the cables through, you're going to mount the hoverboard to the frame. It's just four machine screws directly into the frame. Now with the motherboard mounted, we're going to make the connection to the gyroscope board. That's going to be the first connection there. The second connection is from the wheel to the motherboard. This is for the controller that's inside. And then next we're going to connect the power cables that go to the wheel. Take note of the power cables of the different colors. You're going to want to match them up. If you connect the wrong colors you could damage the wheel and or the motherboard.
we're going to connect the other wheel. We're going to follow the same steps as we did with the other side, taking note of the round and flat parts of the axle, round part facing down, and the flat spot facing up. second wheel assembled we're going to install the battery so the battery is going to go in this empty crevice here it also has a bracket to hold it in just in case of heavy vibrations and just for your safety as well we won't be making the connection right now as we're going to leave that until the end just to make sure that everything is connected properly just to prevent shorts to make the connection to the Bluetooth board. So the Bluetooth board is on the bottom casing. It's just a small circuit board. You'll notice that there's a red plug and a white plug. The red plug is for power. That's going to connect directly to the motherboard. White plug is your speaker output. Please take note of each plug and make sure not to connect the power into the speaker output as this will damage the Bluetooth board and possibly the motherboard as well. next connection is the on off switch you'll notice it's just a two wire connection and it plugs directly into the motherboard our next connection is for 
for the charger. It's a four pin connection. It plugs directly into the motherboard as well. Now with all our connections made, you're probably wondering where does the Bluetooth go? It just goes silicone directly to the outer shell. Right above it goes the LED light. The LED plugs right into the gyroscope board. So as you're moving forward or back, the lights change. made. Your last check will be to plug in the battery. Turn the hoverboard on and ch check for any red air lights. The red air light is directly on the motherboard so once you turn it on the board will light up green but if you see a red light on the motherboard it means something's been connected incorrectly. For further information on how to take apart your hoverboard or how to repair it just contact us here through YouTube or through our website, Macaro Lifestyle. Thank you for watching.